Hello! So, one of my favorite things about being a professional astrologer, uh, I've done readings for the last seven years, and I helped a lot of people to be able to understand different sides of themselves. And I've, I've utilizing astrology, I've come to understand different sides of myself that help me get in touch with my, my true essence and not just different societal constructs of what it is to be a man or and helping other people what it is for a person to be a woman or a man or whatever whatever identity they choose to to have it's it's really beautiful in studying i mean because what is astrology is astronomical psychology and it's been really beautiful to help women to develop their masculine side and to, to help men develop their feminine side, to be able to, as Jung would say, with uh, the terms anima and animus, to be able to have that masculine and feminine in balance. And I think that's what the key is, is also, I mean, yes, to have that balance, that yin and yang, but to also go above and beyond that and learn about ourselves past these kind of ideas. These ideas can be helpful but to be able to understand ourselves and accept ourselves and empower ourselves in ways that are beyond these kind of distinctions. But it's, it's good to make these distinctions because it's, even though I don't really think along these lines very often because I've been studying astrology so long and it's, it's helped me to get past this idea of masculine and feminine, it's it's still valuable to check out. And so I think that's one of the most valuable things in astrology is for men, I mean, from personal experience, I have a moon cancer, my rising is on the cusp of cancer. And even as a straight guy, it's especially, I think, in some ways, but I think for, for men in general, regardless of sexual orientation and for people in general, to embrace, well, that's a whole other point but as as men being able to accept our feminine energies and that so yeah i have moon cancer one of the most feminine energies that there are and i've always felt connected to it even when i was young i i felt like it was very natural for me to express my emotions to understand other people's emotions and to empathize with people and thankfully i've always been pretty secure in that but i do remember later on in childhood feeling insecure to some degree and I know that other other guys felt this even more so which is really sad um but again that's that's something that's cool because with my job I get to help people I get to allow people to be themselves and I got to help them understand like no that's a beautiful thing that you're a dude and you feel this deeply regardless if they have a, a feminine moon or this or that or whatever it's it's been really anyways we'll get to that later but I I think it's really awesome um in studying astrology, we've had a lot of confirmation of it's normal, it's good, it's natural for for you, for me, to feel this way, to be this in touch with your, your feminine side. And it's helped me to get in touch with my feminine side even more so. And and also to get in touch with my masculine side. I think that's, some, that's something that's really amazing is not just with gender equality, but I think that's the, the goal of gender equality is to push us all, uh, push, not to push, but to inspire us all, to encourage us all, to empower us all, to get to a place where people can just be people, whether it's male, female, or, or non-binary, or what have you, just people operating from a state of awareness and, and appreciation for their consciousness to be able to just be themselves and not have to think, is this too masculine, is this too feminine? That's something that's really beautiful with astrology, is we're able to understand ourselves at such a higher level but again specifically it is good to to explore I, I really enjoyed helping people to explore other sides to themselves and empower those sides to themselves um and i think that even though i've taken a special interest in doing so i think that astrology in general really helps promote gender equality because
it's just natural when you study these different energies a, a person doesn't just have one energy they don't they don't even have necessarily a couple energies they, there's so many different energies to take into to consideration and just like i did uh i think in 2014 that series of men who have stereotypically feminine feminine um energies and women who have stereotypically masculine energies it's It's been a lot of fun helping people to, to learn who they are and to appreciate who they are. And I, I look forward to continuing to do so. So anyways, um, I think moving forward in this world that gender equality is truly something to aspire to. And, and also not only as an external goal, but as an internal goal to learn to be in tune with every part of ourselves, whether it's stereotypically masculine or feminine, and to just be ourselves and enjoy that and appreciate that and not go down the hellish rabbit hole of, am I allowed to be this emotional as a man? Or am I allowed to be this direct and assertive as a female? That stuff really doesn't matter. <laughs> At the end of the day, what's essential is people are being themselves and people are it just becoming as as natural as possible. And again, I think astrology is essential for that because it's the most comprehensive psychological system that I've studied or found. And I would love to find something that's more effective, but I, I haven't for a long time. That's why I still uh, focus on it mainly in my psychological studies and in helping people with whatever challenge they're going through or how to make the most of their gifts whether masculine or feminine or whatever it's an incredible system and I, I highly encourage um I made this video because I wanted I wanted there to be a kind of a cross-section uh I think those who study astrology naturally tend to understand and appreciate the importance of gender equality because precisely like I was saying studying astrology helps us to understand so much more about ourselves and it's not just about the sun sign. For those who don't know, you have the moon sign, the rising sign, Mercury, Venus, Mars. The, the same idea of what makes our sun sign our sun sign of that particular angle from that particular region of space in the solar system uh, applies to every single astronomical body in our solar system. And there's there's so much to enjoy and, and discover and explore with that. And so I highly recommend anybody who's coming from a gender equality place and has found this video to study your birth chart. Um, I'll include a link in the about section to the website where I actually first saw my birth chart about just over eight years ago. And I think that's going to be incredibly helpful. And um, and also for uh, for astrology seekers to, to consciously, because it has been a while, it's been quite a while since we've talked about this. Of course, I include perspective and in, in all the videos I do but not quite so directly is um to to challenge yourself I, I mean regardless of, of who you are but especially if you're already invested in astrological understanding and your chart to challenge yourself to consciously embrace and empower those parts of you that are in the box the very limiting the very artificial societally constructed box of what it is to be your gender and to understand that what's more important is you being yourself yeah. i also made this video as a shout out to uh i mean for those who have been following me you know that i'm a big fan of emma watson i think she's an incredible human being and I would love to do a reading for her. I'm not just making this video to do a reading for her, but that was certainly was on my mind. <laughs> so uh, just as somebody who understands the importance of this world evolving, and I think certainly, uh, and I, I, my personal experience with astrology too, a lot of my, most I would say most of my, my clients are females. And... It's, it's a special joy. I mean, I love reading for guys, too. Again, either way, I'm always just helping people to be more in tune with themselves, regardless of gender, whatever. Again, I just appreciate people 
but I think that it's it's a good idea for the astrology community and system of understanding and knowledge and experience to to consciously combine with the gender equality system of understanding and knowledge and experience because honestly I think they, there's a huge overlap regardless um, and I think anybody who's in the gender equality movement who is pushing for true humanism who isn't getting caught up in and I think I think most are but some people get caught up uh, like in any movement in in goals that aren't a complete holistic vision but um I really just applaud Emma for being focused on, on female liberation, which is essential, and empowerment and encouragement in this world, for sure, is essential. Um, but also being able to see beyond that and also see the necessity for for masculine liberation, empowerment, and encouragement. And of course, there are different situations. Of course, you have historically uh, masculine privilege and power and, and abuse of that power. Certainly, obviously, I don't mean to generalize about every single male in history, but certainly that's been the overall trend. That's been the overall pattern. Um, but also, it's, it's, it's important to be able to deconstruct that moving forward as a, a human species to recognize that as men, and I can speak from personal experience, like I was saying before, and I didn't even get the worst of it. I, I've, I've had a lot of uh, a lot of friends that, have, that were guys who it's been really tragic to see them not being able to be in touch with their emotions because they didn't know how to handle it. They didn't know how to verbalize it. They didn't know if it was okay to verbalize it because any measure of talking about their emotions was deemed feminine, was deemed um, unhealthy or, or undesirable or makes them feel weak. And that's that's been really tragic. And I've actually had a couple of friendships which fell by the wayside because of it. Because regardless of how much I could be in touch with my emotions and be compassionate, they couldn't quite bridge that gap. So that's a, a really essential thing too is to, again, and, and that's the beautiful thing about astrology is, is it's about liberation of people. It's about liberation of consciousness regardless of male, female, non-binary, what have you. Um, I read for all sorts of individuals, gay, lesbian, straight, transgender, I, I, I don't care. And that's the beauty of it is the reason I've gotten to this place and I'm able to talk with anybody is because in studying astrology, I've come to understand that as human beings, there is no such thing as a, a good or bad chart, a good or bad energy, a good or bad what have you. It all comes down to choice and, and awareness and practicing that awareness and regardless of who it is it's it's important to do that and i think that is certainly in line um it's going in the same direction it's the same goal as gender equality which is everybody being able to be free to be themselves and to not experience hate or prejudice or worse in some cases self-hate self-prejudice self-love that's what it's all about and self-acceptance and self-empowerment so um, I hope this reading, this reading, I hope this, this video is helpful. And uh, if anybody can get in touch with Emma, tell her that I would love to read for her because I think I could definitely, definitely help her in many ways to continue on her path. And regardless, um, for those exploring astrology for the first time, have fun, enjoy. It's, a, it's changed my life for forever. It's a beautiful system of thought, of psychological understanding and introspection. And for those astrology fans who haven't really given a lot of thought, I hope that this has been a, a good foray into the idea of the importance of gender equality, whether whatever gender you might be, and how important it is for everybody. The message ultimately is how important it is to just be yourself. Infinite life to you, my friends. Namaste.